The title of this video is Too Much Stress Can Be Bad For You and in many ways that is an understatement. But let's just look at some of the ways that stress can take its toll on your body. Now the first thing that happens when you're under stress is your heart starts pounding and that goes back to your inner caveman and inner cave woman. You know, the heart need to start pumping all that blood around to get to the muscles so that you could chase after and hunt down that woolly mammoth or run away from that saber-toothed tiger. You had to make sure that all the blood was getting to the right muscles and getting to your brain and making sure that uh, your body had the amount, amount of blood that it needed to do the job, the fight or flight. Well, of course, that leads to high blood pressure and High blood pressure in short doses isn't too bad, but sustained high blood pressure can be very, very harmful. It can lead to things like headaches. That's just, you know, the mildest form of high blood pressure can lead to headaches. But it can also, if you're very unlucky, it can give you a heart attack. Um, because of too much blood pressure, you can blow a blood vessel or in some other way damage your heart and bring on a heart attack. It can lead to a stroke. And then of course with all that blood pumping around and that heightened state of awareness your body releases all sorts of endocrines and glucose and various things to make sure that your muscles have all the extra nutrients that they need. Well, if you don't need it, your body will recycle that and that ends up in your digestive system and too much of it can lead to indigestion. And in its mildest form, that can lead you to heartburn. In its extreme form, if it carries on over a long period of time, that can lead to stomach ulcers. Stress can also take its toll on your reproductive system. In women, this can mean an irregular menstrual cycle. In men, this can mean erectile dysfunction. In both sexes, it can lead to difficulty sleeping, when you're under stress, when you're worried, when you've got stuff on your mind, uh, you toss and turn, you can't sleep at night. And that can bring on depression and stress is probably the leading cause of depression. And it can lead to other things as well, things like diabetes, skin conditions, asthma, arthritis, anxiety attacks, panic attacks, you know, the list just goes on and on and on. Now, a lot of people will try and self-medicate to uh, deal with the effects of stress. And some of the more common things are smoking. They might turn to alcohol. You know, a drink to calm your nerves can become a drink to calm down. And before you know it, you're alcohol dependent. They can take over-the-counter medications. Um, this can start out with something as harmless as an aspirin for a headache or an antacid for an upset stomach, but then that can come on more and more and become a dependency on over-the-counter medications. People can start taking natural remedies. There's nothing wrong with natural remedies, but if you don't know what you're doing, they can be very harmful. And finally, people can start taking lots of prescription drugs, either ones that are recommended by their doctors or something that somebody gives them. You know, we've, we've all been there. We've all had people at work who say, oh, you've got this sort of problem. Here, try this. My doctor recommends these. So you start taking somebody else's prescription drugs without really knowing what they are. And that can lead to quite serious health problems. And of course, smoking, alcohol, and other things here also have their own health problems associated with them in addition to the stress. So you might end up having even more health problems brought on by the things that you're doing to try and combat the stress. So it becomes a really vicious circle. Now, according to the website webmd.com, 43% of all adults suffer adverse health effects from stress. And 75 to 90 percent of all doctors' office visits are for stress related ailments and complaints. In the US, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, better known as OSHA, declared stress a hazard of the workplace. 
And stress costs American industry more than $300 billion annually. And the lifetime prevalence of an emotional disorder is more than 50%, and this is often due to chronic, untreated stress reactions. And it's not just you that can be harmed by your stress. It can be very harmful to your family, especially to your kids, and I'm going to talk about how it affects them in the next video.